Cheyenne and Amanda on the East Coast. How are you guys? Oh, hi. Awesome. Good. I'm great. We're at this cute, trendy coffee shop right now. And um, you know, we get to join from Vegas. We have our coffee too. <laughs> Super fun. Um, but I have with me today Kelly. She is on our Becoming team. And so is Amanda out in South Carolina. And we get the privilege of hearing Cheyenne's Becoming story today. Super, super, super <laughs> So um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your story. And um, Amanda and Shan, why don't you guys kick us off? Yeah, you know, I think I have the perfect question to kick us off. And a lot of people may not know Cheyenne. So like, who are you as a person? Just tell us a little bit about yourself. It's so hard to say like who I am because I get like, who am I? I don't know. But I am a 18 year old girl who is a worship leader and photographer at Elevation Church. Um, it's a campus in Roanoke. We have 12 locations I'm at one of them and I don't know I'm a Instagram enthusiast and I blog about fashion and lifestyle and Jesus and that's basically me <laughs> nails it so essentially if we're not following you on Instagram we are missing out on so many yes things. all right yes. everyone follow Cheyenne done. yes follow me I also have a blog the Cheyenne Taylor dot com. <laughs> perfect I love it <laughs> Awesome. Um, so Cheyenne, is there a specific event or season that sparked your journey with God? I, there's one specific moment or season of my life that comes to mind with that question. I feel like two years ago when I went through a really, really hard time in my life, I had lost two of the most important people in my life, um, falling out, just a lot of drama, a lot of different stuff, and I moved around a lot, so I was just very inconsistent in my life, and I ended up moving back to South Carolina, where we are here, and I kind of was just like, you know what, I'm going to stop doing my normal stuff, I'm going to stop just, you know, having everything on me, and I decided to try out Barefoot Church, which is where I met this wonderful <laughs> lady who was a part of just changing my life. I went to church to just meet people and get out of my house and I ended up meeting God in a in a way that I had never really thought I could. I thought I knew Jesus, but I didn't in a way where it just completely changed who I was and that was almost three years ago and ever since I've just been on this completely new journey and it's always different and seasons are always changing, but that was the moment that changed everything. I love that. That's incredible. I love how you can pinpoint that specific moment that sparked your journey. That's yeah. Cool. It's really cool. Yeah. I actually had the honor of seeing her transform through that season. So, I mean, I can I can second that. It was crazy just to see, like, the catalyst of whatever she had walked through just totally change yeah. her as a person and change her into something pretty dang incredible. God just uprooted me from bad situations, and I had to move from here, and that was another thing that happened. But that one moment where I just kind of walked up and was like, hey, I'm here changed me completely and I don't even know who I was before that. That's, that's really cool. So now you've embarked on this becoming journey here. Let me show you that God gave with me. And if you're sitting across from another woman on her own journey, kind of like what the four of us are doing now. We have coffee, we're all talking, we're hanging out. Exactly. Um, if you were sharing with us, with one of us, um, another woman, what would you share to encourage her on her becoming journey? There was, oh, I wish I could just talk to some girl throughout that entire thing because I feel like words are such a big thing for me. When I started on this journey, like the encouragement I got throughout just that horrible time that I had been through and just all of that, I just feel like you need to surround yourself with people that are going to lift you up instead of tear you down. And I know that a lot of people that surround all of us are negative and all that, but you need to find a space, find a person, find a place that just uplifts you and inspires you and challenges you to be different and be yourself because I spent so much of my life trying to be something I wasn't and just trying to get by and life is so much more than that. Life is exciting and adventurous and it's just waiting for you to just see what God wants you to do and what we want is completely different than what God wants from us and if we just realize that God has immeasurably more than what we can envision and what we want and we go and try for that and grab for it because God's not going to lay it in our laps but he wants us to take that path into that journey it's just been crazy to see my life and I 
just want to bring people along in that and just see their own potential because I know I didn't, but people like this did. And if you surround yourself with those kind of people that know Jesus and know God and know that there's so much more ahead of you, that this isn't the end and this is only the beginning. And yeah. That's huge. And I love like everything that you just said. We have the visual picture like right here. (laughs) who you surrounded yourself with or linked arms with sitting next to you sharing that like how cool is that? that's amazing so cool. uh, and you're 100 right like the words and people you surround yourself with on the journey really can be the things that make or break that's so good so that's yeah it's good you're good girl i love it um thanks for sharing thank you for sharing your story of your heart um i really appreciate it and i know a lot of women who are watching this will be able to glean so many good truths. So I hope you. so. Thank you. And for all of you, make sure to follow Cheyenne on Instagram because <laughs> it's obviously great fashion. So <laughs> make sure to follow her and um, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Because